got Fire Commissioner, Philadelphia Fire Commissioner Lloyd Ayers with us. We're going to talk about alum the gas grills right now because there are a lot of mistakes that people make that start fires, right? Absolutely. This is an adult activity, no children. 41% of the structure, home structure fires with gas grills are caused by leaks. One of the things we want to remember, if you have an older uh, round wheel propane tank, get rid of it. Two These pounds. are no longer in service, No right? longer in service. Now mm -hmm. what you want is you want that uh, tank that has the triangular type wheel, okay, to open and close it. Okay. And you want to make sure that you use your connections. Make sure that they're tight. After you make those connections, you use the soapy water. Soapy okay. water is going to allow you to see where the leak is. If you have a leak, stop, reconnect. Okay. Make sure that it's safe. And what's going to happen is you'll know if you have a leak if the soapy water is bubbling. Absolutely. You get the bubbles just like uh, a leak or blowing bubbles. So reconnect. Okay, great. And we just want to show you really quick. This is one that actually exploded and this is not soft material. Absolutely. This was a catastrophic explosion. Uh, this is from an actual explosion and fire, so they are very dangerous. You have to be careful. Okay. All right. Great. All right, Commissioner, let's go over here. We have Jack McDavid, who's going to show us this is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. Huh? Absolutely. You want to make sure that you cover that fire, make sure that you have water, cut all the air supply from it, uh -huh. let it die down, put some water on it, and make sure that it's completely out. Yeah. And, but you know, can I ask you really quick, you and uh, Jack McDavid were saying that a lot of times when people, when the flames aren't going as fast as people want, they just put that uh, fluid on and that's not the thing to do? Absolutely not the thing to do. That fire can run up the fluid, can catch onto the can, and seriously injure. Okay. And another thing, putting out the fire, putting out the, uh, the, the charcoals is just as important um, as when you prepare to do your grilling. Absolutely. You can make sure you have a nice uh, pail or something where you can put water in, make sure that they're completely soaked with water, and then you can dispose of it. Oh. As you can see, Jack has the chimney style starter, which is preferable. I like that model. Okay. And you just put the paper in the bottom, put the charcoal in the top. In 20 minutes, you're ready to cook. Wow, okay, that seems nice and easy. Tell yeah. me what you got to say. You always wait until charcoal turns white. Okay, you have to take your time in grilling. You have the proper preparation, okay? Okay. Now, uh, if your charcoals are white, they're ready to cook on. If they're black and you add uh, charcoal, lighter fluid, or whatever, you're going to have a fire, and it's not going to be pretty. And also, if you use lighter fluid and you wait until it turns white, all the charcoal, lighter fluid is burned off, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, we don't want to do that. So what we you, want to do is we want to do it with Jack doing it now. So, if you take your time and you do it right, you can have beautiful meat, and burgers, to big racks of ribs. A beautiful salmon. Oh, that looks this good. This is halibut. Oh, this is wonderful food. Oh, and the vegetables. Oh. We're going to do it. Well, I would like to thank Commissioner Philadelphia Commissioner Lloyd Ayers for his safety tips and Jack McDavid with Jack's Firehouse for all of their wonderful tips and their wonderful food. We are going to go eat now. So I have to go. Bill, Luann, back to you guys. Eat your heart out. <laughs>